Now then, welcome back to another episode on the Hypermind server. On the Hypermind vanilla server, and look what's been going on already. Look at this. Jan has been already very busy on her live streams, uh, getting through some of the decoration. And, uh, well, I'm smiling, but I won't say whether I like it or love it or hate it or would change any of it or anything until she's finished the whole area and I get to discuss with her on video. Yes, I want to, uh, I want to bring her here and tell her to her face what I have seen that I like and what I've seen that I don't like and what I've seen that I want to improve on and all of the things around the whole place. She's still got loads to do. So she'll be live streaming regularly, no doubt. Um, I think it's uh, six o'clock Tuesdays, almost definitely up here in Nemson's base. <laughs> oh, I don't know if she knew how much work it was going to be when she agreed. But she agreed, and I'm holding her to it, and that's it now. So I'll probably meet up with Jan again to go over that. But that's not what today's episode is all about. Today's episode, I want to do some more of the tunnel entrances. See, tunnel entrances are sparking up all over the place. And I need to start sorting them out. Uh, and there's not really a big technical issue as to why I can't just get on with it. It's the sort of design issues. So, we worked on the Witch Farm Tunnel just recently. So, that's all now sorted and goes to the Witch Farm perfectly. But I need to decorate. And on the Wither Farm, I put a Wither up above. Here, however, I want to build a Witch Farm. Well, a Witch. Uh, a Witch Farm? A Witch? Uh, a, yeah, something like that. So, I reckon that I kind of know how to build a witch hut. And hopefully, I'm going to be proven right now. Um, I think I could build that. Uh, actually, 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 actually. Let's start from here. Yeah, that seems good. Because then you can walk straight onto it. And I can always put some stuff down. I don't know. I don't know where to start it. I, <laughs> I have, I'm well planned. Well planned, I tell you. Uh, let's try that, because it's only a 3x3 three three area that it lives in. And I can go down into it to make it look... I can dig away some to make the watery side of things look good. And then it's a 3x3 three three area inside it, like that. And... Maybe another one out this way, and then... We would have some posts going up. I think it's something like this. It's been a long time since I saw a witch hut. So I'm trying to remember. Uh, there and there and there. Is that about right? Is it three by three? I think a witch hut's about three by three. So there we go. Like that. And like that. Feels about right for a witch hut. Feels about right for a witch hut. Kind of. I think we're getting there. Uh, I've just been out farming some spruce wood because I know that witch huts are made of spruce wood. So I thought that would be a good plan to go and get some spruce wood. Um, and I think it's something like that as the entrance way. I think so. And then you get inside and it's a pokey little witch hut thing, isn't it? So always a pokey little witch hut. And if we come like that, then it's kind of a good place to start your engines. Start your engines. And I was thinking about doing something where you drop through the floor from the witch hut onto the track and run off. But I can't think of a good way of doing it so that it's got a cart dispenser and everything as well. And that's a kind of an issue. Now, I do want a cart dispenser of some kind just there, though. Uh, and I'm probably going to secure that underneath... Um... Um, hmm. I, I need a, I need a thing. I need a thing. I need some things. I need to make one of these and use a cauldron. Put water in the cauldron and have that, like, there. Okay, so it hides the dispenser underneath there. The dispenser will put stuff out on the track. 
I could potentially have some uh, a redstone contraption of some kind. Let's just put another button on. I actually got a button already. Uh, I'm, I'm very, very organised. I'm very, very organised, apart from having almost anything ready. I'm very, very organised. And the cart would then get dispensed onto there. From that dispenser onto there. So I'll probably need a wooden button just there, don't I? Just to power that block, which should power a dispenser. In theory. Mm-hmm. In theory, that should work. Okay, and then for the upper area... I think we we have it kind of a three by three area. I'm trying to remember, recall what a witch hut actually looks like, and I'm pretty sure I've got that bit right. Let's see. Uh, we put that there, 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 and there, and yeah, kind of. And then up on top here, I think it was just like the window, and then it's kind of hidden, as I recall. It's kind of hidden underneath the the roof there but it's definitely that kind of thing isn't it and i've run out of oak wood awesome i thought i was well prepared and i am not in the slightest i'm gonna go away and get some more bits and pieces in a bit anyway uh but it was like this and it has a sort of a a wraparound flat roof doesn't it something like that let's have a quick go i want to just get the the rough build in the right place and then start digging out around it and underneath it but i think it's the right sort of size i mean from just about anywhere you're going to see that witch hut aren't you do you think it should be one higher though do you think it should be one higher or is that going to be okay i think that's going to be okay because then we can have a kind of a a link up to it here and if people fall down into the hole that i'm going to get make underneath it it shouldn't be too far for them to get up again so there's a plan so let's go one two three make a slab for there yeah and uh, torbray's on hey torbray uh yeah that looks about right though doesn't it that that feels a bit like uh, a witch hut in size and shape i think yeah i think we need a uh, like a, a crafting table i'm gonna put my crafting table inside it now so that i've got that sort of stuff in i'll put a crafting table inside it and maybe an upturned thing, an upturned uh, table. Maybe that needs to be an oak wood one. I need to get some more oak wood and get some more bits and pieces, don't I? So let's dump all that in there. And vines and leaves and all that kind of stuff. And I need a bit more water as well, I think. So I want to dig it down like at least another couple of blocks and put... A a lot of cauldrons underneath it filled with water and uh, so you can see these oak um, pillars going down into the level below and I also need to make this so that you can get back out of it if you need to so maybe I need to take this out down the side here and then put some kind of ladder up the side as well so yeah I'm going to be working on a few bits and pieces like this and then have a ladder there. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, but I'm just going to hollow it out a little bit further off camera. Just so we've got the few bits and pieces ready. And let's do the finishing touches before we uh, get too far into this episode. And try and finish that off. So if anyone falls down into this area. They can just get up the ladder and get back out again. And get back onto here. Just in case they fall out over the edge here. Boom. And they fall down. We've got a fall down point here to get back up and a fall down point there would be good as well yeah and then i can put a bit of decoration in so i need to do a little bit of hollowing out and preparation because i'm going to need lots of buckets of water to fill a lot of cauldrons down there to make it look like water down there i also brought some vines some leaves and some lily pads and some grass blocks just to try and fancy up the general area of it and we'll see how that goes in a bit. Alrighty then. So, I've been testing out blues for the ceiling. I'd, I've kind of done the internals already. I've kind of done the internals. I put a dispenser down here so that um, it, it's, it's just for putting carts in when you're done with them. Spare carts. So if somebody's got a cart at the other end already, 
it should really be one track, one cart, backwards and forwards. There's only really supposed to be one person at the farm at a time. But in case the second person needs to go, they can just push a button and away it goes. Whee! And I'm going to have to go and click that. And that button is a waste. I could... Oh, I suppose I could just do that. But that's going to... Yeah. Ah, oh, redstone. Okay, let's take that. Let's put that somewhere. Uh, let's put that over there. Looks good. That's perfect. Perfect placement. I've even managed to get the uh, cactus in a flower pot. And I know from experience that uh, cactus in a flower pot is a very important feature of a witch farm. So I've done it so that you can see it through the window just there. Just to add that little bit of detail, that little bit of colour. I thought I liked that. Um, but as for the, as for everything else, it's not really that much inside that's anything any special, really. It's just a witch hut. And being just a witch hut should not let me change anything about it, really. I'm just gonna just gonna carry on regardless. It's just a bit of fun. It's uh, the functionality of the place is what really counts, isn't it? And if it doesn't function very well, then well. It's not going to do very well, is it? Uh, let's put this here. And here. And here. And here. And get rid of this one. There we go. And then put the ra uh, all this stuff back. There we go. Awesome. And there. Uh, that looks a little bit more like it. There we go. I did want something where you could drop through and get pushed up into the thing. But I think I need somebody with a bit more redstone knowledge than me to do that bit. So we'll leave that just as it is for now. So interior done. Let's start working on the outside. What I wanted to do for the outside was have have a fair bit of, I don't know, land around it. So let's just throw some land around it like this where you're going to see it. Uh, yeah, you're not necessarily going to see all of this, but... I've got the blocks, I may as well use it. And at the back here, that's the back wall, so I don't need to worry about that. Round this side, let's have a little bit more in the way of water underneath it. Uh, I don't know how much you're going to see, though, that's the thing. I don't want to waste cauldrons on where you can't see. Uh, you can kind of see in there, can't you? Okay, and let's fill this in at the back here because that is visible from the outside this bit here I need to do something with that's slightly different because that's the side wall so I've got to do the side wall slightly different uh, that bit there yeah and that bit there and oh man I'm filling in so much stuff now I'm filling in so much area I don't know what's better uh, let's just put a load of water down here and see how it looks in the end oh, wow it's a good job i've got more lots and lots more i just went and grabbed a load from the iron farm made a load of buckets from the iron farm and grabbed a load of water from the the river that goes to sea cow bay at the iron farm just because i knew i would need it i think i probably need more than i actually figured on bringing though so we kind of gotta stick with how much we've got haven't we so I've got four left. So where would we see the four? The four left. Let's have them here, 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 and here. Yeah, that'll do. Let's have those last four there. And then that's good. And put some... Uh, yep put some grass around here like this and there we go what do we think that's kind of looking okay I think it's kind of looking okay that's all right I think maybe I need to do a little bit more water down the sides but still we've we've done that for now I can come along and I can replace the grass at a later date if I think I need to just to make it look a little bit more it's only really when you get close that you're going to see down into it anyway. You're going to see it from when you're running around. You're going to see that is there. And then when you're getting closer, you're going to see that it looks like it's kind of floating on water. I think I do need to put them around the struts a little bit more as well. Yeah, and have kind of a grass verge here. And maybe at the back. But that's by the by. Uh, next up, 
Right, we've got that done. Let's, let's put that away. Next up, uh, this section here is all hidden, so I'll fill that in. And let's fill this in down here as well. There we go. And I was thinking of putting the grass coming up here, just because it's a first block of filler. And maybe do this, have it so it blocks down one. I don't know if grass will spread in the nether, but let's leave it like this. And I'm out of grass blocks now. Good. Well, I guess we see if grass grows in the nether. Uh, this section here, then, we'll do something with wood, maybe. And set a tree up in that side. Yeah, that's kind of starting to look how I want. And we got spruce wood. Yeah, let's do spruce wood and this and this. Probably going to need a lot more leaves, but I didn't go getting leaves anywhere soon. Uh, yeah, grass did spread, didn't it? Yeah, because that's just come on with grass. So, let's have a tree coming up the side here. Let's have it so that it comes out this way a little bit. And up this way a little bit. Just fill some space. Uh, yeah, let's fill some space that way. And like that. And then we want to put grass uh, what grass leaves around like this and I wanted to have some vines hanging off areas as well so that'll do for there I do need more leaves though to make that bulk out a little bit so we'll leave that wall kind of like that there was another bit that I was using of clay there's a light blue clay and I wasn't sure which clay I preferred yeah it needs a load more greenery up there really doesn't it uh, not sure which clay I preferred or whether I wanted to use the light blue wool. So we've got to do some experimenting with that. I think the, the white wool... The white wool. I just fell in a cauldron. I couldn't believe I just fell in the cauldron. I think that might be better off lower down. And then have the, the slightly lighter blue wool higher up. I would like to have put it in the wall as well. But due to having things like this here... Uh, like having the next wall on straight next to it. I kind of got to think about where I'm doing things and how I'm making them look. So i got to kind of do things like that. And then probably use this at the back as well. Uh, 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 and I, pff, I was worried about the grass growing on there as well. Let's go like this. There we go. I need to get some more of this, don't I? Yeah. That looks better on the sides, and then maybe this up the top. Get some more filled in. Uh, I want some more... Yeah, I want some more leaf blocks there as well, though, don't I? But I can swap some of this over now. So let's have another one like that. And let's have this, 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 this. And put some more wool up there. There we go. Make a slightly lighter side and take a step back. Let's have a look. Mm, I need to mix some more of that light blue wool in, don't I? Or just use this light blue stained clay as a constant. With a load of leaves covering all over. Maybe the leaves over the wool might actually do as good. And it'll have a little bit more brightness of the blue behind the leaves. And then just go and get some more of this and put it in all of these gaps like this. Just to do a decent backdrop. Yeah, I think I'm getting there. Now I just need to go and get some more clay farmed up for the blue clay. And we should be good to go. And some more leaves. So I'm going to go and get some more blue clay and leaves. And then throw a load of vines and stuff on it. I was wondering about painting as well. Should I just put a painting inside? Just for, just for the sake of... Just put a little painting up there. It's the witch's hut after all. There we go. We just got a got a little painting, a little plant and all that kind of stuff. That's awesome. Alright, so more blue stained clay and more leaves. I'm not really sure about it. I kind of like it. It's kind of good. I think that the trees don't stand out proud from the wall enough. I think that's the problem. 
And if I put a tree trunk up the back there, then it would look a bit odd. So having the trees not standing out is a bit weird looking. And there's one more thing that I really should include in this design because I think maybe somebody in the comments has already said you got it missing. There's missing stuff. Uh, actually, I need a... I need a bit of that. Yes, because I believe that the witches always have a little bit of this going on. Fence posts. And I believe they go around about there and there. That is okay. That is good. So coming in from different angles, let's check it out. So coming in around this way. It's kind of clear that that is the witch hut. Yes, very good. Uh, I've got a bit of blue wool just stuck on the side there, waiting for it to despawn. I just recently uh, swapped it out for all this stuff. I'm running around all over the server getting parts for this, because it's not nether materials. Um, yeah, and over this way, you kind of get the... I think the trees do a better job when you're walking past like this. Yeah, they kind of catch your eye a little bit better as you're walking past like that and from the very center area coming towards it it's not so bad i may have overdone it with the leaves a bit maybe i should have just had one tree one side and take the other out and get more of the blue stained clay and just fill that one wall in with blue stained clay i will see and i will have a word with jan when i get to talk to jan about my place in uh Maybe next week, something like that, maybe. I'd give her a bit more time to do it first before I start saying, where's it done? Is it done? And let me see. And I get Jan over here and we can have a look at this and she can tell me what she thinks as well because I value her opinion. Um, it's kind of fits. It kind of fits. Fits fairly snug. Yeah, there's no gaps in it. It seems to be good. I like the grass on the floor. I think maybe more cauldrons. For a bit more water around maybe i may have should have done a bit more work on the side but I, it's so close to this that i maybe i should have just done the tree coming up here to start off with let the vines grow out a little bit and that kind of stuff i mean that's five minutes that's now despawned so they're starting to grow let the vines grow down a little bit and that might be all it really needs just to to finish it off. Let's, uh, actually, while I've got the vines, let's just see about giving it some of that. Like a little bits of viney bits coming down the end here. Uh huh. I'll do that. See how that looks. Yeah, it kind of gives it a little bit more green, doesn't it? And we'll see how this forms and falls down that way. Uh, I might mess around with it a little bit more, or I might leave it might leave it just as it is it's kind of doing the job that i want it to do in the nether hub uh, there's a lot more doors for a lot more community areas that this is worth going into and i like that you go in like this and kind of just go off we go yeah i like that i think it's setting a good standard setting a good standard so other people from the server can do their own tunnel entrances how they wish but between the wither farm, or the wither f boss farm entrance, like a so, and the witch farm entrance, like a so, I think I've set out a good, well, I wouldn't say benchmark to beat or be better, but just like the ideas there. Even if it's a lot better hopefully it's a lot better even if it's a lot better or even if it's a lot worse so long as the general idea the ideal of what to do with the entrances from the nether hub gets done we should be okay we've got to do a little bit more with lighting i gotta get some sea lanterns so having the ocean farm will be pretty cool fairly soon i hope uh the ocean farm which is over this away no, actually, it's over in that corner now. I'm spinning around all over the place. It used to be up this way. Now that's the messer. Uh, Drax packed ice that way, yeah. There's the the new area that Soap is looking at. Oh, actually, it's right by where I was, of course. The new 
ocean farm is getting slowly but surely sorted. Gravel, sand, and sponge donations welcome. Okay. Uh, yeah, the soap's going to be working on these tunnels and all that kind of stuff eventually, it seems. Uh, but he's also working on the actual farm itself. So having access to more sea lanterns will be awesome because I kind of like this simple effect. It doesn't, they don't really get in your way too much and they just, they light up a large area. They're like The light source is almost still visible all the way out here. And if I just like leave five blocks in between each one, there's a good gap of ten between them and they would still give me a good coverage of light around here. We've also got to consider that lava's going up there at some point when uh, we've done some designs in the ceiling tiles and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but that is, that is that is good. I like I like the way that the hub is turning out. It's a nice steady progress now. I've dug, did all the big diggy jobs and now I've got these nice little detail work jobs that I can do episode by episode and try and uh, try and get some collabs in for some of the other ones. See who wants to take up those projects with me. And we'll see how we get on. So that is what I've got time for today. And I quite enjoyed this session. Even though it was a couple of hours of running around the server trying to find all bits and pieces, I quite enjoyed doing it. So it has been fun on the vanilla server. And also we've got, uh, let me just show you, Snow Crash and Torbray online at the minute. So it's been fun seeing them on the server as well. So they must have videos coming out soon. So I'll be glad to go and watch. Uh, but that is all I've got time for. Thank you very, very much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of Hypermine. I just, oh, I just thought that pig man was going for a swim then. Yeah. Anyway, folks, thank you and goodbye.